Dear audience, welcome to our channel. It is reported that Intel recently disclosed a new wafer manufacturing technology roadmap at an event held in California, and set the goal of becoming the world's second largest wafer foundry by 2030. According to the company's for years, five nodes technology roadmap, they have a total of five process node technologies, including the traditional mature processes of 10 nanometers and 7 nanometers and the already launched Intel 7 and Intel 4. In addition, the advanced process of 3 nanometers, Intel 3, is ready for mass production at any time, aiming to catch up with TSMC and Samsung. The Intel 20A and Intel 18A, which are breaking through the industry, are also scheduled to be launched as planned. Intel expects to regain its process leadership by 2025 through the Intel 18A process node. Yes, that's right. Intel is striving to catch up with TSMC's leading position in the global semiconductor market, and has set ambitious goals to become the world's second largest wafer foundry by 2030. Traditional chip manufacturers such as Intel face challenges and opportunities in adapting to market changes, technological innovation, and global competition. If you were an investor in the semiconductor industry, how would you evaluate Intel's efforts to catch up with TSMC? What factors would you consider in deciding whether to invest in Intel? Taking Apple's shift to using TSMC chips as an example, the challenges Intel has faced in recent years in technology research and development and market competition. How do you think Intel can respond to these challenges through repositioning and technological innovation? In the global semiconductor industry competition, besides technology and production capacity, what other factors do you think will affect Intel's success in catching up with TSMC? In addition, the veteran chip company has also introduced the more advanced 1.4 nanometer Intel 14A process, which is planned to be launched no later than 2027. In the European Union's announced €43 billion Euro budget for chip subsidies, Intel expects to receive a total of 6.8 billion euros by 2024 to build wafer fabs in Europe. According to the latest statistics from Trendforce, in the second quarter of 2023, Intel entered the world's top 10 wafer foundries for the first time, ranking 9th, accounting for approximately 1% of the global foundry market share. The top three ranked manufacturers are TSMC, Samsung, and Global Foundries, accounting for 57.9%, 12.4%, and 6.2% respectively. With the continuous changes in the semiconductor market, leading wafer foundries such as TSMC have dominated the global market with advanced technology and efficient capacity. This trend has brought severe challenges to traditional chip manufacturers such as Intel, forcing them to readjust their strategies to adapt to market changes. With the rapid growth of the global semiconductor industry, the demand for advanced process chips in areas such as mobile devices, data centers, and artificial intelligence has reached an all-time high. TSMC has established a leading position with continuous technological innovation, efficient capacity management, and massive capital investment in advanced process technology. It not only achieved large-scale production of 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer, and even 3 nanometer nodes ahead of others, but also planned for more advanced process development, consolidating its unshakable position in the global market. In recent years, Intel has been an undisputed leader in the chip field, but it has encountered a series of technical bottlenecks and delays in the research and development of the 10 nanometer and below processes. This directly led to product launch delays beyond expectations affecting its market share and customer trust in the personal computer and server CPU markets. This strategic mistake has created opportunities for competitors, allowing TSMC to consolidate its market position and attract top customers, including Apple. In order to rejuvenate and narrow the gap with TSMC, Intel has announced an ambitious plan. They plan to build and expand wafer fabs globally to increase production capacity and to catch up with TSMC by reinvesting in advanced process technology research and development. In addition, Intel has also adjusted its strategy to position itself as an open foundry, attracting more design companies to entrust their chips to Intel for production, and increasing market share. Intel's ambitious plan is aimed at the future, 
actively investing in technological innovation and production capacity expansion. By building and expanding wafer fabs globally, Intel will be able to increase production scale to meet the growing demand for chips in the market. At the same time, reinvesting in research and development of advanced process technology means that Intel is committed to catching up with or even surpassing competitors in technology. This adjustment of strategy not only helps to narrow the gap with TSMC, but also re establish Intel's competitiveness in the market. On the other hand, positioning itself as an open foundry makes more design companies inclined to cooperate with Intel. This collaborative model helps attract more customers, expand market share, and establish a more open and cooperative image in the industry. Through cooperation with design companies, Intel can better understand market demand, accelerate product innovation and launch, and further enhance competitiveness. However, to achieve this ambitious plan, Intel still faces many challenges. In addition to improving technology research and development and production capacity, they also need to rebuild customer trust, optimize supply chain management, and deal with uncertain international trade environments. Only through continuous efforts and innovation can Intel achieve its goals and succeed in the fierce market competition. In summary, Intel's ambitious plan demonstrates their confidence and determination for the future. Through technological innovation, production capacity expansion, and market strategy adjustments, Intel is expected to regain its leading position in the global semiconductor market, providing customers with better products and services. However, it is not easy for Intel to catch up with TSMC in a short period of time. TSMC's first mover advantage in the wafer foundry field is already very obvious and its technological strength and market position are not achieved overnight. Intel needs to comprehensively improve in technology research and development, production manufacturing, and marketing to gradually narrow the gap with competitors like TSMC. Despite facing many challenges, Intel also sees new opportunities. With the continuous development of the semiconductor industry, cooperation between upstream and downstream companies in the industry chain has become increasingly important. Intel can promote innovation and development of the semiconductor industry through cooperation with other companies. For example, Intel can collaborate with design companies, material suppliers, etc., to jointly develop new semiconductor products and technologies. In addition, Intel can actively participate in the formulation and promotion of international standards to enhance its influence on the international stage. Therefore, Intel will face many difficulties and challenges in catching up with TSMC, but there are also certain advantages and opportunities. As long as they actively respond to challenges, seize development opportunities, and adopt effective strategies and actions, Intel is fully capable of catching up with or even surpassing TSMC in the future, becoming one of the leaders in the global semiconductor industry. Finally, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained something, insight and reflection. In short, Intel is at a crossroads in the ever-changing semiconductor market. Challenges and opportunities coexist, and only through continuous efforts and innovation can we achieve counterattacks and leadership. Intel will continue to focus on technological innovation, capacity expansion, and market development with partners to explore the possibilities of the future. We believe that Intel will continue to play an important role in the global semiconductor industry and make greater contributions to the industry's prosperity and progress. Let us witness Intel's glorious moments together and create a better tomorrow for the future of technology. Additionally, as an expert in the semiconductor industry, the blogger, I believe that Intel's efforts to catch up with TSMC are necessary but not easy. In addition to technological research and development and capacity expansion, Intel also needs to focus on market positioning, partnership relationships, and global supply chain construction. International market competition is fierce, and companies need to have a global vision and strategic thinking to flexibly respond to market changes, continuously innovate in technology, and develop together with partners to stand undefeated in the competition. Today's video ends here. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Bye-bye.